Hello, math students. Today we're solving systems of equations, but I'm not giving you the equations. These are going to be story problems, and we're going to write the equations that are going to be used for the system. Now, I know that some of you hear, oh, story problems, and you get all scared. These are easy translations. A lot of them are going to be very similar. Um, we're really just kind of looking at two types of translations today. So, let's take a look at this. If I tell you that the sum of two numbers is 25 and their difference is 9, and I want to find the numbers. Now, typically we use x and y if there's nothing specific said there. And a lot of times we do have to um, define our variables, which means label them. These are just two random numbers. We don't really have to say x is the first number and y is the second number. For right now, I'm not worried about that. Next year in algebra, maybe. So when I'm looking at these, if I say the sum of two numbers, that means I'm adding. So that would be x plus y is 25. Is means equals. And difference is the word that we use for subtraction. So instead of x plus y, we're going to have x minus y equals 9. I want you to think about our last lesson with the elimination, last couple of lessons. Right now, those y's are opposites. And if I add these two equations together, the y's are going to be eliminated, which is what I wanted. I do want to mention that some people look at x and they go x plus x and they get x. Remember, this is really a 1x. And this is really a 1x. And I'm adding, which means I get 2x. The y's will be gone, yes. And 25 plus 9 is going to be 34. Solving this, I get x equals 17. Now, I don't care which equation you go back into. I would prefer to use the one with addition. So if x is 17, then 17 plus something gives me 25. The y has to be 8. And if I check with the subtraction one, 17 minus 8, yep, that's 9. However, this is not going to be ordered pairs. I know that I chose x's and y's, but it doesn't mean it's automatically an ordered pair. This is just asking about what the numbers are. Usually we would write out a sentence for a problem like this, but because it's just asking what the numbers are, I can just say the numbers are 8 and 17, or 17 and 8. The reason we don't want an order pair is I don't really care about the order. I just want the numbers. Most of the time they're going to give the answers with the smaller number first and then the bigger number second. It doesn't really matter. Here I started this one with the difference first. So the difference of two numbers, that means x minus y, is 7. Their sum, when I add, I get 23. So x plus y equals 23. When I add these two together, again, don't forget that's really a 1x and a 1x. The y is gone. 1x plus 1x is 2x. 7 plus 23 is 30. So the x is going to be 15. And again, I said I like the equation with the adding, so I'm going to use this one. 15 plus something equals 23. If I check the first equation, 15 minus 8, I also get 7. So my numbers are 15 and 8, or 8 and 15, right? Don't really care about the order here. Um, I was just going to say something I don't remember. A lot of your problems today are like this, these sum and difference problems. I love sum and difference problems. They're so nice to translate. They work out so well and so quickly. Sometimes we're going to give you other kinds of problems, though. It's not all just sum and difference. I told you I was going to give you two kinds of problems. So here's the second kind. The math department, we ordered lunch. They, we ordered 16 tacos and 8 nachos and it cost $88. Science department ordered 12 tacos and 8 nachos and it cost $72. How much does each one cost? So I am going to use, I know that not everybody really likes T's, but I am going to use a T because I can draw my T's carefully. 
and I'm going to use an N. So those are my variables. So 16 tacos and 8 nachos was $88. Science department, not everybody ate lunch, so they had 12 tacos, but they still ordered 8 nachos, and that was $72. If I add my equations together right now, nothing's gonna go away. However, if I would multiply my second equation by negative one, go change, change, change. Now, the ends are gonna go away. 16t minus 12t is gonna be 4t. And 88 minus 72, or plus a negative 72, that'll be 16. I'm going to get that t is equal to 4. So that means that the tacos cost $4. I'm going to write that down. And please show how smart you are. Put the dollar sign in front of the number, not after. I want to find out how much the nachos are. So I don't really care which equation we use. I'm going to use the top one because it hasn't been changed. So I'll have... 16 times 4, 16 tacos, $4 each, and 8 nachos cost $88. 16 times 4 is 64. So if I would get rid of the 64, I'll have 8n equals 24, and n equals 3, which means that the nachos are $3. One more. Spash Band usually does have a fundraiser and they sell fruit. So we're selling boxes of apples and boxes of oranges. We did a problem in the last lesson with apples and oranges. Um, Sam sold six boxes of apples and 14 boxes of oranges, $328. Taylor sold 12 boxes of apples and 10 boxes of oranges, $350. So let's Take a look at these equations. Let's use A for apples and R for oranges. So we've got six boxes of apples and 14 boxes of oranges, $328. Taylor has 12 boxes of apples and 10 boxes of oranges, and that's $350. This time it's not as easy. I can't just do a change, change, change. However, if I look at those A's, I could get the top equation to turn into a negative 12A. That would be perfect. Let's multiply this by negative 2. So that part's easy. Negative 12A. Negative 28R. 328, let me just double check this times a negative 2 is going to be a negative 656. A's are gone. 10 and negative 28, both are R's, so that's going to be a negative 18R. And I'm going to have negative 306. Divide by negative 18. It's going to give me a positive answer, which is good. I can't have a negative price for something. 306 divided by 18 is going to be $17 for a box of oranges. I'll label these in a minute. The apples then, I'm going to go back to my top equation. And I'll have 6A plus 14 boxes of oranges, and each one is $17. 328. So 14 times 17 is 238. So let's get rid of that 238. That's going to be 90. And when I divide that by 6, I get that apples are $15. So here it is labeled. 
apples are $15 for a box and oranges are $17 for a box. Your assignment today, your practice problems are the systems with story problems worksheet, um, the answer keys in Schoology. So make sure that you check that, make sure that you're careful, and then um, make sure that you take the learning check when you're all done. Let me know if you need any help.